How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another Team of the Season player review. Now, today we have Jonas, Honas, Jonas, however you want to pronounce it. And if you do want some coins, head over to FIFAninja.com. Use that code MA9 for 5% off. Every link that you will need is in that description below. If you want any cheap MSP, PSN, or game codes, head over to G2A.com. Once again, their link is in that description below. Now, he is quite cheap on the Xbox 30 to 50, on the PlayStation 30 to 80. 11 goals in 7 games, 3 star skills, 4 star weak foot, high to low work rates and great base card stats, 91 dribbling, 82 pace, 90 shooting, 85 passing and 75 physical. So he does look like a great card. Now yesterday I watched a video from the Penfairs and it was the best player in FIFA, one of his series and this card was featured and I've got to say I do agree with the Penfairs in a lot of ways but I disagree with other ways and that's what I love about player reviews in general. General, the kind of consensus that people can have different opinions on players and this is a player that we have different opinions on. In terms of skill attributes though, I've got no doubts whatsoever that he's a great player. 96 ball control, 99 curve, 91 dribbling, 89 finishing, 89 free kick accuracy, 94 long shots and 89 shot power. So he does look fan bloody tastic from there anyways. Now the one thing I would say straight away is I wouldn't play him at striker. I'd play him at calm. I think you would get so much more out of this card at calm. In terms of movement, he's always in space. And that's what I do like about this card. If you like your players to make the right runs, to always be in space, get Jonas or Jonas or however you want to pronounce it. And he will always be in position to receive the ball and then not be next to any player in particular. So in terms of pros, shooting. Fantastic, honestly, left foot, right foot, heading wise, his shooting is great, from free kicks as you've seen in the background, honestly, there's nothing wrong with his shooting whatsoever, his movement is great, I've already spoke about it, his runs are perfect, and I did like that about this card as he does a 1-2 off the post, dribbling wise, sensational, for a striker on this game, or a calm, his dribbling is pivotal, and uh, yeah, his dribbling is outstanding as he wins a header and powers it into the back of the net. Ball control, especially his first touch, outstanding, idyllic, however you want to say it, his first touch is absolutely fan bloody tastic. It really, really is. And free kicks, as you've already seen, is sensational as well. Now, in terms of cons, the kind of um, not major cons, but the minor cons, and it will get on your nerves, and you will notice it with this card. Strength wise, he's not too strong, and he will lose the ball from time to time, especially if a challenge comes onto him, because his aggression isn't great. Now, with aggression, it's kind of winning the ball in 50 50 situations. So if the centre-backs got high aggression, which uh, generally they do, Jonas will lose the ball. Nine times out of ten, he will lose the ball. And that did annoy me about this card because he's got, like, no fight in him whatsoever. And it did annoy me about this card. But uh, referring back to the Penfairs, I've got to agree with him on most points because he is a fantastic striker. But there is a few gripes about this card. Would I buy him? Yes, I would because he is great. Where would I play him? I'd play him calm. So over overall rating he's getting an 8.6 and a value for coins of 9.0 guys that will be it for this review i hope you have enjoyed if you have smash the hell out that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new and as always i will catch you all next time